Hi everyone, so this is Catfish, Season 9, Episode 15, Gay and Cody. Um, Gay is 27, lives in LA, um, met Cody 13 years beforehand when she was 14. Cody lives in Iowa, um, is a huge YouTuber apparently, um, and about five years before contacting Catfish, um, she's found his Snapchat username, connected with him on there, um, and started talking. And we find out in her email that he had decided he was planning on getting a vasectomy and then decided against it because they started talking about having kids. And so, yeah, and then as her usual with all these cases, either they've never talked on the phone, never video chatted, or both. And when in this case, it's it's they've never done either. So they get on a Zoom call. Um, and um, she's just counting everything like they always do. Um, and. She revealed something personal about herself, which is that she was diagnosed with schizophrenia when she was uh, in 2019, so when she was like 25. Um, and he's helped her get through it and, um, in the beginning stages when she wasn't on medication, and he's helped her get onto medication to help manage it. Um, And he's, you know, expressed his own mental health issues as well um, going on with him. And, um, but going, getting back to, you know, just the um, discrepancies with him, he never sends any new pictures that aren't on, like, his social media he always sends the pictures that he puts up on there um and every time they she's talking about the things that he refuses to do or or whatever they always bring up the red flags and it's always hilarious i'm like okay so um she reveals that he she i i don't want to say threatened but she told him that she was planning on contacting Catfish. And so he immediately started becoming standoffish because of that. And um, so she decides to get off of um, the Zoom call and sends everything she has on Cody. So they start their investigation with Instagram. And so they see pictures of the same girl a lot, but she's not really tagged. But then they find a video of her and him together um, on Valentine's Day of this year. And um, he's claiming that she's his girlfriend, whose name is Lena, um, and who he follows. So they run the phone number and it comes up to Lena. Um, and so Cammie's like, well, Lena must be behind all this or something like that. And Neva's not really on board with it. Um, so they look up Lena on Facebook and see that there's a picture of her and Cody's mom together on her Facebook. So they contact his mom um, and before they before, before he, his mom Tracy calls him, they find they they look up Cody's screen name um, on Google and stuff, and they find a lot of accounts for stuff like Twitter and and stuff like that, and um, and there's this pay, internet page where it's called like. Um, What's it called? Uh, Encyclopedia Pwned. And it's basically just 
trash talking Cody and all that stuff. So Chase Tracy, his mom his mom calls and she's like, Well, he's currently not in a relationship, but he he is he was and I do know he's talking um uh, he told he he's revealed to me that um he is talking to somebody but I don't know all the details. So they ask her if, you know, if the Snapchat handle um, they has is the same one that she knows Cody has. And she's like, well, no. Um, so they get off the phone with her and then goes to the next day where they look at the Snapchat they has given was or was given and they um they search for it and um and they find a Twitter account that sounds off awfully familiar of that encyclopedia pwn page that they found the day before. So so Cam is like, well I think Lena is behind it and that's how they broke up in February and all this crap and uh, it's just weird. Um, it seemed weird, so they get Dave back in the to the Zoom call and show her everything that they found. And after everything, after she hears about everything, she's like, "Well, I have something to tell you." So, um, so like back in like September, October ish of um. 2020, I was with this guy, or I maybe it was like November, but um, it was like somewhere between like October or September and, and November um, of 2020. She she started dating this guy, and um, they uh, he proposed to her in January of this year, and. He, uh, they got married a week after he proposed, and, um, immediately after they got married, she realized, look, I, I rushed into this marriage, so we're in the process of getting a divorce, um, and all that stuff, so, yeah, Kim is like, um, dang, that's a lot, but I feel like whatever Cody's hiding, or this person who claims to be Cody is hiding, is worse. So we're just gonna take it as it is and have you contact um, Cody on Snapchat because we feel like he would be more receptive of. Uh, if the invitation to talk on Zoom came from you. So she sends a message to him and he eventually says, okay, fine, I'll get on Zoom with the link. So he comes on, it's him, and um, he says that he has such anxiety of her seeing an unedited version of... Um, of him that that's why he never wanted to talk on the phone or video chat or any of that stuff. So, um, the reason why, you know, they saw a lot of weird stuff online was because of the fact that, um, on his YouTube channel, when he first started, he made a lot of videos that were rants about political and um, religious beliefs, religious things. And so people would take his clips, splice them together so that it would sound like he'd said something that he actually didn't. And so, um, yeah, that's what, that that's his reasoning for why that's happened. So Day then decides that she's like I'm, she's she's gonna tell him about being married, and so 
Cody takes a minute to process that she's married, um, but in the process of getting divorced, and he's like, well, I'm not mad that you, you know, did, you did what you did, because, I mean, we weren't really officially together or even talking like that at that point, so that's not what I'm, my issue is, it's like, I wish you would have told me that you had started seeing someone else because maybe I wouldn't have all right maybe this he didn't say this but he it feels like he he means that if you if he had, she had just said something maybe he wouldn't have been as flirty as he was so that way it wouldn't have interfered with her relationship I mean it didn't really interfere with the relationship anyway but by the sounds of it but I mean it could have if they decided to try to stay together in the long run so so maybe that's what he was thinking I don't know because like I said he didn't actually say that so that I'm just assuming um but anyway so they finish filming and they af after they finish filming they hopped on a plane to Iowa to, to spend some time with Cody and um their connection get stronger and they um Cody decides he, he's gonna move to LA and they're talking about their future and having kids together still so um that's this episode um I don't know how I feel about this episode uh, I mean on the one hand I think it's kind of cute but on the other hand I feel I'm kind of irritated and I don't know why I just feel like I don't know. I just feel like me if if he did just sat down, if he just like even talked on the phone, I feel like they would have been on well on their way to video chatting by now. I don't know. I just I I, I mean on the one hand I think it's kind of cute that they that they got their little love story. I think it's kind of cute, but I mean. I'm still kind of irritated, so I'm like, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm glad that he, he is who he says he is, it's just like, I mean, uh, I, like I said, it's just irritating, I just feel irritated, I don't, I don't know why, I just feel irritated, anyway, so, next week on Catfish, this girl named Kalon, um, met this guy named Jordan when they were 12 or 11 or 12 um and it looks like they're like they find the name Taj and this Jordan person doesn't really exist oh, excuse me um so I mean we'll see what happens i mean this one wasn't this episode wasn't particularly messy i mean the, i mean we got the news that day was married but i mean it wasn't like i don't know it, it, it wasn't necessarily messy so i don't know but next week may be the messy episode for a change we'll see um but with all that said um, I'm not sure if that UK version of Catfish has started airing yet. I'm going to find out that. And then if there's already an episode or a few episodes out, I'll try to put out those, um, videos today if they're out, if there's at least one out. And then I'll try to put some out or put the rest of them out when they come up. So... That said, I'll see you guys next week for the regular catfish. <laughs>